Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Sharma here. So neat super speciality results are out and we have a very special guest here. We have Dr. Neha with us. Dr. Neha is official, unofficially I would say because the merit list is not yet out, but she is one of the toppers. She has got a stupendous score of 314 in the neat super speciality pediatric part and expectedly she is going to be among the top two ranks. So. Uh, welcome to this interview, Dr. Neha. And first of all, congratulations. How are you feeling right now? Uh, hi, sir. Thank you so much for the congratulations wishes. So I'm very relieved, sir, right now because my hard work paid off exactly. And I'm quite happy because it was my dream to win top three for once. So I'm very happy, sir. Yeah. So you are now given multiple exams. Now you are leaving this rat race of competitive exams on a high, right? Now it's not Yes, sir. Now it's sir. Now it's okay. Great, great, great. So uh, uh, tell me more about your uh, background and uh, like from where you did your MBBS and MD and which city you belong to so that, you know, students can know a bit more about you. So I'm basically from Hyderabad, sir. I did my MBBS from Kaminini Institute of Medical Sciences. And then I did my MD from Nilofa Hospital. And now currently I'm going to do DM soon. <laughs> In which branch are you planning to do your DM? Not decided? So I'm, yes, sir, I have decided I'm interested in pediatric gastroenterology for now. Okay. Um, so, so pediatric gastro, uh, you will be probably looking at, uh, I think the top place is in Lucknow, right? Sanjay Gandhi PDF. Yes. Mm, so yes. You'll, you'll be learning under pioneers over there. There are, there are pioneers like Dr. Yacha over there and uh, quite a few of my seniors also like uh, we have read their articles, read their books, and so you'll be going at a very fine place to your pediatric gastro. That's what a top rank gets you. So uh, again, uh, congratulations. So uh, what is your, uh, like, was this your first attempt or you have given other exams also prior to this exam? So this was my first attempt at NEET SS, but uh, it was my second attempt at INISET, sir. Okay, okay. And uh, how did, like... Uh, you find the paper what is the overall analysis of the paper compared to what other exams you have given so actually neat SS is quite easy paper sir even if the questions are lengthy the, uh, they had some basic information which uh, led me to the answer sir so paper was quite easy uh, otherwise it was a bit lengthy sir otherwise it was very easy okay and uh, did you find any problem areas like where suppose you had to sit again so you would focus on and you would advise others that these are the problem areas and you should be careful about so problem areas is like uh, we should not have a very deep thinking while analyzing so one thing which I've realized because many of my friends have made the same mistakes. Uh, so the options were quite clear sir, and uh, the question itself gives you clues to uh, go to a particular answer. Sir. So we should not be confused with the other options. Sir. Uh, I believe some important points regarding to the topic will be sufficient for us to get to the answer. Sir. I think uh, Dr. Neha has uh, uh, pointed out a very important thing. So all the students who are targeting super specialty pediatrics, this is something we are all taught in our residency also, that when we make a diagnosis or we give differentials, the more likely thing should be on top of your agenda and less likely rare things should always be lower down. And I think the uh, answers in this MCQ, this super specialty exam, the options, the answers were also similar to that. So don't overthink, go with whatever you feel like, trusting your knowledge about the uh, topic, right? So what, 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 um, like, um, what resources you, you found useful, like what were your basic areas, which you basic books, basic resources that you used for while preparing for this? Actually, I quite uh, prepared well during my MD exam itself, sir. So it uh, added an advantage to me because I've always prepared even theory from Nelson, sir. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, the which I have not covered from the Nelson, I took your help, sir. Your videos were like mini Nelson for me. Uh, so the Nelson and you, your videos, sir, it helped me. So these were the two resources for me, sir. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you uh, uh, like, did you read some other textbooks? Like a lot of people are in the habit of reading review articles. Some people read some reference books also. So any other resource did you refer to? No, sir, not really. I have done that only during my MD, sir. But for DM itself, only Nelson and your videos were sufficient enough, sir. Okay. So again, uh, the, the message coming out is Nelson, you cannot neglect that because Nelson is still about 70-80% of questions are directly, directly from Nelson. And being good in your residency always helps you. So uh, uh, did you, as you have rightly said, 
uh, as you have already told, prep ladder was beneficial for you. So, other than the videos, did you give any mock tests or anything, or did you not have time for uh, MCQ practice? Quite many mock tests. Uh, every week, I used to give one mock test, uh, and then I used to solve on a daily basis one question bank at least, uh, okay. and then re revise question bank again later. So, mm -hmm. so uh, do you think, do you, would you suggest that MCQ practice is equally important as you know, remembering your theory and revising your theory? Yes, sir, it is definitely like I can tell is if I have to if I give twenty percent to theory, I would eighty percent to MCQ solving, sir. Because I used to get very scared if I don't solve MCQs, I won't be able to be in the race. <laughs> no, uh, see, it's it's always a balance. So uh, theory alone and MCQ alone. I think uh, if you are neglecting the other part, it is not going to work out. So both the things are equally important. How much time you give, obviously, it varies according to what is your comfort level with theory and what is your comfort level. MCQs. So, other than that, uh, what advice would you give to people who are, you know, first category are will be the people who will be entering into MD right now, like first year residents or those who have just taken up MD. So, what advice would you give to them? Uh, how should they plan out their uh, next three years when it comes to if they are targeting super specialty exam? Okay, so what I would suggest is um, during uh, for our MD preparation itself, we should be very thorough from Nelson, sir, because half of the race is won by reading uh, for MD exams, sir. So that is one advice I would give. Mm -hmm. And we should make notes, sir. Basically, how much ever is possible, we should start making notes from Nelson so that it will be uh, easy for us to revise again. Mm -hmm. And those who are in the final year or those who have done their MD, given the exam and have not done well, any uh, words of advice for them also? Because they will have relatively more time. They are not doing their mm. now. So, any advice to them, like what extra they can do? So, I think for NETSS, they are like very focused on particular important topics, sir. Like from nephrology, what I've seen is they are very much focused on tubular disorders like Bartos and gentlemen. Mm. And for cardiology, usually they'll ask indications of surgery in ASG, VSG, PDS, such type of questions. So, if we focus on the important topics itself, half of the battle is won there, sir. Like almost 60% questions will be answered through that, sir. And how would you have you given the uh, INI exam also? INI, yep. INI. Yes, I have given. I have uh, actually opted for pediatric gastro at that time, but uh, yeah. I put It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. All you need is to top in one exam. You can't be at multiple places. There is no <laughs> multiverse over here. But INI versus NEET SS, how would you say that they are different? Like the exam papers, those who are targeting. Like if you have to prepare again, you will not be. But if you have to like prepare for INI, how is it different from NEET SS? And what additional advice would you give to students? So what I've seen in INI was uh, there were many questions from the articles. Uh, there was quite a chunk of questions from Nelson itself, but there were many more from articles. Mm -hmm. So that was my one disadvantage sir, because I didn't read the articles basically. And NEET previously it used to be just one liner, sir, but now even they are focusing on concept based questions. So once a concept is clear, I think we can crack both the exams sir, now. Okay, okay. So the papers are becoming more clinical even in neat SS, right? But for INISS, uh, as as uh, Dr. Neha has just said, you need to read a bit more review articles, a bit more references from exotic topics, which are suited according to the pattern of INISS. And uh, lastly, uh, Dr. Neha, would you like to dedicate this success, this huge success to anyone? Uh, any shout outs to your friends, to your colleagues, anybody who would you like to dedicate? Yeah. Because this will go on social media. <laughs> okay, sir. So I would really like to thank my parents because my mom has literally sat with me and made me study it, sir. So that was like a big support system for me. And then also my other friends, like, sir, like I, I would like to mention uh, Dr. Prem, sir, who has helped me through my preparation since the starting of three years, sir, since the starting of my PG life, literally. So I would like to thank my parents and Dr. Prem, sir. Okay, great, great, great. You have made everybody proud. You have made us proud, your parents proud, your friends, Dr. Prem, everybody proud. So uh, do party hard and plan your studies well. SS is not going to be easy, especially if you're going to take up in, uh, you know, pediatric gastro, it's going to be a grueling bunch, but you are going into an elite space now. So all the best for your uh, future and uh, do keep guiding students. Probably once the results are out, we'll get in touch with you again for some more uh, tips from you. So okay. this was Dr. Neha. She has got rank, uh, rank list is yet to be out. Probably it's rank second or third, depending upon what uh, how the merit list comes out. Uh, 314 is her score, and she has given some useful tips to everyone. So keep preparing hard, hard work never postmates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Neha.
Exacto. 